All right, guys, I want to show you something. Uh, sometimes when you're working on batteries, um, well, you have to troubleshoot, right? Something goes off, something goes wrong, and you're like, is this BMS working? Or is this BMS the reason why this battery is no longer functioning, right? And so what I've been doing is I've been using these little things to see the individual groups of cells. Let me show you. All right, so this is my uh, DIY Powerwall, right? I've been doing some tests. One of the tests that I was doing is I wanted to see if you can run these continuously. These are called Datgo VGS or VG-8S. So it's a little voltage meter for eight cells, eight group cells, right? Now I'm using two of them here because this is a 10S battery, 36 volts, right? So 10 groups of cells and they're all connected in parallel. This is about 16 kilowatt hours. And so here you, you can see the, the, these are displaying five and five. So half of the pack is here, half of the other pack is here. These have been connected to this battery now for, I don't know, a year, right? And I and these have been connected like this uh, continuously, right? And so I wanted to see if that would work or if these would completely mess up and unbalance the battery. And they did. They completely unbalanced it. <laughs> so this is this is only good to check in. You can't. I don't recommend you do this and keep it in there, uh, connect it, you know, completely uh, or continuously because then it, this will happen, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just uh, install uh, or connect the BMS on this battery, um, and then uh, let the BMS, uh, you know, balance this battery again right and this battery is going to come out because i have other cells that i got to try and we're going to build another power wall and another system or whatever right so but this is the thing that i've been using and it's kind of you know doesn't quite work because of the limitations of the groups right it only does eight groups right and so that's great for 24 volt uh, uh battery packs but now we're dealing with 36 volts and then 48 volts and so the 48, uh, this time I guess I'll do 48, but it's just hard because you got to make these cables. And so let me show you a thing that finally fixes this problem. All right, so here it is. Uh, this thing doesn't even have a name. It's all in Chinese. And in fact, this came with all the letters in Chinese, but you just have to press this button for 10 seconds and then it switches back to English. But it is essentially what I've been looking for. It's literally just a simple, meter that will tell you up to 24 uh, a pack of 24 groups of, of cells right so this is very useful to diagnose batteries uh i'll give you an example like this is an e-bike battery right it's like is the bms good or is the bms bad i don't know this is a bms that i installed in here uh but how are the cells you know is this doing a good job in balancing the batteries well, let's test it for the first time now. You can have a little device that, you know, usually I would have to make some cable in a thing and it would take me, you know, hours just to make the thing. And then I would keep it around to see if, you know, in the future I would use it. But, you know, then we get later, a few months later, I was testing some other battery that's different. And then that thing wouldn't work and I would have to spend a few more hours trying to make a cable and stuff like that. But no more with this one. So check this out. This thing has the two most prominent uh, pitches of connectors, right? So these are point, uh, 0.26, I think, and these are 2.0. 2.0 uh, millimeter, right, uh, distance between the pins, and these are 2.64, I believe. Um, so these, the little ones, are usually the 2.0. And so all you have to do is you just pair it in here. So you make sure the positive and the negative, the negative is the number one pin usually. So then just mark it in here. And then you connect this little thing and check it out. The battery status is good. <laughs> so it tells you the voltages of all 13 uh, groups. Well, first tells you there's 13 groups over here. Uh, voltage drop. 0 0.001 so there's a delta a difference between all these cell packs uh all these cell groups of 0 0.001 volts so these are incredibly incredibly well balanced 
uh, cell groups, right? So this battery pack is it's really well made. So that BMS uh, that I installed in there is doing its job. So there you go. So this is uh, like an e-bike one, and so it allows you to just check that. But what about other types of batteries, right? Well, let's see. There's this one right here. This is one of those packs that I've made, right? It's, it's based off on that PCB thing. And um, for that one, you will need another little adapter because this connector here is not exactly made for this. It gets kind of in the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's, there's some kind of, yeah, that's the problem with this. It's not doing a perfect connection. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Now there's seven groups. Uh, it's average, and the reason why it's average is look because the voltage difference between them is 0 0.04, 0 0.039, so that's quite a bit. The highest one is 3.7, and the lowest is 3.689, so that's why it's saying like, oh, this is not perfectly balanced, you could do better, uh, and that is true. And why is this battery like that? I don't, I don't think I've ever put a... Um, a BMS on this pack. These these cells are brand new, and I was testing the the build of these uh, PCBs, and so I this is just what the, it comes from the factory, right? And so there's uh, one, two, three, four, five groups in parallel, and seven groups in series, right? So yeah, apparently they don't come perfectly balanced from the factory, right? And how do you know that? Well, because now you finally have one of these things and the last battery that we're going to test here is going to be this one this is one of the battery packs that we have on jack 35 it's a 14s which is uh 48 volts right 52 volts nominal or whatever but it can be used for 48 volts uh storage applications or e-bikes or whatever and so it's it's got this this big connector with 15 connectors right uh, um leads and it's hard to find a thing, you know. I guess you could find a BMS that that fits right into. Well, yeah, you, you should be able to. So, let's see. Do we know which one is the positive, which one's the negative? So, it's weird because it's got positive, like, red on both ends, but I don't know. So, let's see. Which one is this one? Okay, so that one is the negative or the positive? Oh, my God. I don't remember. I guess I'm gonna take a, a chance here and see. Hopefully this thing doesn't blow. No, this is the right, I got it right. 14 groups, uh, voltage drop is 0 0.01, right? So the battery status is good and you can see all the voltages, right? So there you go. Uh, another good thing about this thing that it's a kind of annoying right now because then you have to have a separate, um, source of power so you know it doesn't use it could just use the power from the cells sort of like the dg uh the bad code does right um but this one doesn't do it and that's annoying because now you have to figure out how to power it and, and here i have to have this usb cable right but the good thing about this is that maybe uh what this will allow you to do is to have this uh, for example plugged in continuously because it's not using the power from the actual battery pack so that means it's not going to deplete this battery pack and so this is not going to kill your battery right and usually this is to keep your battery healthy this is sort of equipment like bms but a lot of the times and the bms's are what actually kills the battery right which is kind of ironic but if you have a separate uh, source of power like this, then you can have this, you know, just connected to the wall or something. And then this is always on. You can have a switch and then turn it on and turn it off or whatever. But uh, the power won't be coming from this, so it will never run it down. The, the simple act of measuring the voltage of this thing should not be consuming a lot of power. And so it should be fine. So this is a thing that I almost paid someone to do, uh, to build me one. And I, it would be great if this was even bigger, this one could do like 40 cells, right? Or 30 cells or whatever, uh, so that I can use it on my car, for example, right? And that's just as a diagnostic, something you can turn on the, the, a switch and then you can see the things in there. Now, of course, this uh, also comes in some of the higher end BMSs because the BMS has to do this, has to know the voltage of all these cells groups and then has to actually balance them right so 
uh, this would be great if I had like an extra button here and you could press it and it would just balance those, right? Add like one amp or something, you know? Um, maybe in the future that's gonna be a thing, uh, but at least now I'm glad that there is something like this. And I'll put the link to this on uh, AliExpress. I don't remember how much it is. I think it's like $49 or something like that, which I guess is kind of expensive, but not really for the amount of time that this is gonna save you and the, uh, the, and the uh, amount of functionality that this gives you is great. This is, you know, lets you know at a glance uh, if your battery is good or not. Even if you have a BMS installed in here, like you should, the problem with the BMS is that a lot of the times they don't tell you what's going on, if they're working or if they're doing anything and stuff. And so with a little screen sort of like this, then you can quickly do it. And so, yeah, you can expect to see uh, this thing in some of the uh, you know future projects that I'm gonna use. Finally, we're getting some of these little things that we need that's gonna make our uh, battery building lives a lot easier. All right, this is just a quick video. Uh, I'm on my way to New York now for some time off because I've been working continuously now for like two years. <laughs> So I'm not gonna have a video uh, talking about batteries for a little while. I don't know, for like until next week or something. So there you go, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one, bye.